ladies and gentlemen, in front of you, you see our top 10. We're going to reveal the top four, the continental winners. But before we can do that, we will have to first go to each continent in turn and bring them forward, the top two. Now, for our first groupings, the first three groupings, that's quite easy because there's only two of you left. One of you will be the winner for the continent. The other will be the runner-up. For the fourth group from Asia, we still have to reveal the two highest scores who will now move forward and we will then reveal which of you two is the winner for your continent. So for the group of Asia, the two highest marks awarded by the judges were for India. And finally, Vietnam. Thank you, Sri Lanka and Turkey. Okay, I'm gonna ask Sri Lanka and Turkey, thank you. Big round of applause as they leave the stage. Now, for each of you gentlemen, this is the biggest moment. One of you is going to be the winner. One of you is going to be the runner-up for each continent. And we will now begin with the Americas and Caribbean. Mr. World, Americas and Caribbean for 2024 is... Puerto Rico. Now it's time to reveal who is Mr. World Europe for 2024. That honor goes to... Spain. Congratulations, Spain and we may see you later. Congratulations to the runner-up in Europe, Czech Republic. We move to Africa. Mr. World Africa for 2024 is... Angola! Congratulations on you, Mr. World Africa, Angola. And of course, the runner-up, Kenya. Wow, this is the moment for Asia. Vietnam. 
Mr. World Asia for 2024 is Vietnam. And the runner up is India. Ladies and gentlemen, your four continental winners in Mr. World 2024. For the Americas, Puerto Rico. For Europe, Spain. For Africa, Angola. And for Asia, Vietnam. Okay, and now we have four contestants. It's now up to each of you to convince the judges why you should be the new Mr. World 2024. So, we shall begin with Puerto Rico. There's four of you, four candidates, and the judges have to choose just one to be Mr. World. Puerto Rico, why should it be you? Xin chào Vietnam. <laughs> it is a huge honor to be standing right here and to be living this moment. Thank you so much, Mr. World, and thank you so much, Vietnam, for hosting me here. More than just a title, I should be named the next Mr. World so that I can continue to demonstrate that I possess the compassion, the commitment, the humility, and more than that, the conviction to be an agent of change, the next Mr. World. <laughs> and I also want to say that for me, regardless of tonight's outcome, it's more about the world and all of you knowing that my social work is what keeps me driving forward. And that with that, I hope to bring my social work to the next level, to the global stage. It would be a huge honor and a marvelous privilege. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Puerto Rico. And Mr. World Europe, please tell the judges why you should be the next Mr. World. Xin chào Vietnam. Good evening, everyone. A few years ago, I was just an ordinary person from a small island in Spain, Mallorca. But Five years ago, I realized that in my family existed a rare disease called ataxia. But what is ataxia? Ataxia, it, it's a degenerative disease that affects your balance. In a period of five years, you begin losing the ability to walk, to speak, and to eat. But you are aware of everything around you. However, obviously this, this, this knowledge makes, drives me into a deep sadness. But Mr. Wall's motto, Beauty with a Purpose, gave me hope. I used, I believed that the competition, Mr. Walt, could be a force and a great platform to raise awareness for this small, little known disease. I created my project called Worldwide Impact Fight Ataxia Together. And I used my national title to bring attention to the cause. I could raise awareness and also fundraise 
to find a cure. I believe that the new Mr. Walt needs to be a person that as aspire to inspire beyond the model, but a generational role model. And needs to be a person that, that can make a positive impact on the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, our new Mr. World Europe. Now it's the turn of Mr. World Africa. Cynthia, Vietnam. To you, Vietnam. Se eu for eleito Mr. Mundo Angola, eu terei uma obrigação primeiramente. A Organização Mundial da Saúde fez um estudo. A nossa humanidade, a nossa terra, está entrando na fase de decadência. First of all, if I am elected Mr. World, I'll have a responsibility. The World Health Organization has a responsibility, a commitment. A União Mundial da Saúde fez uma análise, o ser humano na face da terra respira um ar poluído. É human, a nossa... human beings on the face of earth breathe a polluted air. Hoje eu estou aqui no Vietnã, eu estou a amar estar em Vietnã, eu estou a amar conhecer a cultura Vietnã. Today eu... I'm here in Vietnã and I am loving to get to see Vietnã, the culture of Vietnã. Para este povo se manter em pé, devemos prestar mais atenção no mundo, cuidar da nossa terra, da nossa humanidade. For these people and all the people to keep moving forward, we must take care of the environment of this earth. Fez uma análise no mundo todo, em um ano morre cerca de 7 milhões de pessoas por doenças causadas pela poluição do ar. Every year about 7 million people die in the world because of diseases caused by air pollution. Isso é uma história muito triste. A natureza nos dá muita coisa. This is a very story, a sad story. Nature gives us so much. Desde os frutos Desde os mar, desde as montanhas. From the fruits, the sea, the mountains. Nós como ser humano devemos nos unir e junto lutar por uma causa. As human beings, we must get united and fight for a cause. Vamos analisar. Não há por que ter guerra porque a guerra danifica a terra e vai nos levar a prejuízo. Why should we have war so that it's going to harm our earth and take us to so many losses? O que nós devemos fazer é nos manter unidos para ajudar a manter a vida na face da terra. What we have to do is to get united to make possible for life to continue on earth. Falar com falar com dirigentes, organizar palestras motivacionais para que os jovens to speak to leaders, to organize motivational speeches. Dão mais valor e cuidem melhor do nosso continente, senão daqui a mais uma década vamos perder o nosso planeta Terra. Let's take care of our world, our continent. Otherwise, in a decade or so, we are going to lose our Earth. A minha casa, a minha causa é única. O meu sonho é construir centros de acolhimento a crianças carecidas. My cause is uh, unique. I want to help centers for children. Obrigado, Mr. Angola. Muito obrigado. Thank you, the Mr. World Africa. Finally, to convince the judges, our new Mr. World Asia, Vietnam. Standing in front of you right now is just a normal young man. And I grow up in a humble background family. I have nothing with myself but the fierce determination and the belief in my dreams. A few months ago, my country, especially my hometown, Haiphong City, has endured a heartbreaking natural disaster, a Typhoon Yagi, one of the most biggest one in 2024. I was there, overcoming, witnessing everything, the sweat, tears, and even the blood of Vietnamese people being shed. But I have seen something 
far more greater. It's in the time of hardship, the unity of compassion of my country shines brighter than ever. And I'm being here representing Vietnam. I carry along the way the values of my homeland that even in a time of adversity, we can stand together, lift each other up, and find strength in unity. And if I have the honor of becoming Mr. World 2024, I would dedicate myself to spread this message globally. And together, we can make the world a better place where strength, unity, and compassion triumph over adversity. Thank you. Congratulations to our top four finalists, and it's now up to our judging panel. But before, we have a very special presentation for you. The songs honors the previous generations who have given their all to bring a peaceful future to today's generation. Ladies and gentlemen, with the song, You Raise Me Up, Please welcome the Mr. World Talent Champion, Mr. Puerto Rico, and our special guest. And before coming to this special performance, let's take a look at these impressive images. Hello world. They may come from different countries all over the world, but together in Mr. World 2024, they are united in one voice, the voice of their heart. 60 contestants have come as one for four charitable projects. Ignite the dreams. Behind every smile on Chai's face is an untold story. Some children have been abandoned, while others struggle with health issues. Fortunately, they have been discovered and safeguarded by the center, allowing them the chance for a brighter future. During the visit to the center, Mrs. Julia Morley, chairwoman and CEO of Miss World Organization, along with reigning Mr. World Jack Housewood, CEO Fat Kim Yung, and a group of contestants brought gifts and helped renovate their home by painting. Heal the pain. Please stand up and give them a salute because this nursing center is filled with extraordinary people who are the heroes of Vietnam. War has taken away their families, youth and health, but it also given us a peaceful life. A group of contestants came to this center to bring gifts and lend a helping hand to assist them to recover their sense of home. Taking care of them will always be our responsibility. Vibrant Space We believe that having a good life is based on creating a positive living space. This department manages, cares for, and nurtures individuals, including lonely elderly people who lack of support system and many children with special needs. Our Mr. World contestants have created a wonderful atmosphere filled with joy. They also brought gifts and painted lively pictures to commemorate this beautiful moment. Feel like home. Home is not just a place, it's a feeling. This group of contestants embodies this sentiment by sharing their strong foundations with the children, demonstrating that wherever you are, a heart full of love creates a family. This school is dedicated to imparting culture to children facing special difficulties in grades 1 to 5. The contestants are also building bookshelves and providing books from around the world, giving the kids access to the world of knowledge. A heartfelt thank you goes to Mrs. Julia Morley, Director Hoang Nhat Nam and all the contestants for their unwavering commitment to these meaningful activities. We are all together here, hoping their smiles will shine as brightly as they do in this moment, forever. <laughs>